get ready for the dictation start all that has been said in paragraph 5 and of the repetition is that the respondent herein has been imposing and collecting various kinds of direct and indirect taxes from the petitioner and other citizens of the country stock that a part of the taxes so collected have been utilized for various purposes including promotion and maintenance of a particular religion and religious institutions stop thus it is nowhere mentioned in the repetition as to what percentage of any particular tax has been utilized for the purpose of the has pilgrimage stop the allegation in para 5 of the writ petition is very vague stop in our opinion if only a relatively small part of any tax collected is utilized for providing some conveniences or facilities or concessions to any religious denomination that would not be violative of article 27 of the constitution stop it is only when a substantial part of the tax is utilized for any particular religion that article 27 would be violated stop as pointed out in para 8 and of the counter affidavit filed on behalf of the central government the state government incurs some expenditure for the kumbh mela the central government incurs expenditure for facilitating indian citizens to go on pilgrimage to mansrover etc stop similarly in para 8 of the counter affidavit it is mentioned that some state government provide facilities to hindu and sikh pilgrims to visit temples and gurdwaras in pakistan stop these are very small expenditures in proportion to the entire tax collected stop moreover in para 8 of the counter affidavit the central government has stated that it is not averse to the idea of granting support to the pilgrimages conducted by any community stop in our opinion we must not be too rigid in these matters and must give some free play to the joints of the state machinery stop a balanced view has to be taken here and we cannot say that even if when paisa of government money is spent for a particular religion there will be violation of article 27 stop as observed by mr justice holmes the celebrated judge of the us supreme court in bain peanut corporation versus pension stop the interpretation of constitutional principles must not be too literal stop we must remember that the machinery of the government would not work if it were not allowed a little play in its joints stop hence in our opinion there is no violation of article 27 of the constitution stop there is also no violation of articles 14 and 15 because facilities are also given and 
expenditures incurred by the central and state governments in india for other religions stop thus there is no discrimination stop in transport and dock workers union versus mumbai port trust 2010 this court observed that article 14 cannot be interpreted in a doctrinaire or dogmatic manner stop it is not prudent or pragmatic for the court to insist on absolute equality when there are diverse situations and contingencies as in the present case stop apart from the above we have held in government of andhra pradesh versus p lakshmi devi air 2008 sc that court should exercise great restraint when deciding the constitutionality of a statute and every effort should be made to uphold its validity stop parliament has the legislative competence to enact the has committee act in view of entry 22 list 1 of the 7th schedule to the constitution which states pilgrimages to places outside india stop thus there is no force in this petition and it is dismissed stop before parting with this case we would like to mention that india is a country of tremendous diversity which is due to the fact that it is broadly a country of immigrants as explained in detail by us in kelas and others versus state of maharashtra jt 2011 bracketed 1 19 stop as observed in paragraph 32 of the said decision since india is a country of great diversity it is absolutely essential if we wish to keep our country united to have tolerance and equal respect for all communities and sects stop it is due to the wisdom of our founding fathers that we have a constitution which is secular in character and which caters to the tremendous diversity in our country stop it may be mentioned that when india became independent in 1947 there were partition rights in many parts of the subcontinent and a large number of people were killed injured and displaced stop religious passions were inflamed at that time and when passions are inflamed it is difficult to keep a cool head stop it is the greatness of our founding fathers that they kept a cool head and declared india a secular country stop <laughs>